So this is the gear for my lathe that's stripped and you can't get them anymore. The way this one's designed, <clears throat> they made the small gear out of a long piece of uh, metal. You can see it sits right there and then they put a big dent in it right there to bind it to the gear right here to keep it from turning. Then they take and use this nut and bolt to put it on the shaft or to put it on the lathe and it just spins on there and it's all stripped. Other people have tried to remake something similar to this, but what they did was they took this and just kind of hooked it right to the big pulley. <clears throat> I made this so that there's a hub on the pulley because there's a space between the two about a half inch there. So I have a hub coming out of the pulley, big pulley. And then of course this hub goes into this hub all the way through. <clears throat> when this is finally assembled, this will get epoxied with one hour epoxy and then insert it all the way and let it dry overnight. That'll bind this to this. Then this bolt nut will go through here. But first I've ordered a uh, brass tubing, very, very thin walled. It's gonna get pressed into here and probably epoxied so that it turns with the gear and is a permanent fixture of the gear. And then that brass pushing is gonna spin on this bolt, which has a self oiler in it where they have a hex key, which has been refilled with this weird foam-like, rock-like, silica-like stuff. So this gets filled with oil forever and lubricates the bushing. This should last until the teeth wear out. And it's an idler. So there's a gear above it spinning and a gear below it spinning, and this is just transferring the power. This could last forever. It's also solidly printed. It used a ridiculous amount of uh, stuff. So it's solid. There's no hollows in it. Amazing.